Hello, folks. This is the question for 2018, February, March, uh, February 4 2, and the question number is uh, 8. So, the first question is uh, we have to go for two properties of uh, idle OP amp uh, uh, and tell its meaning. So, the, it says what is infinite bandwidth uh, and what is infinite slew rate. It means that uh, it works uh, with the same gain for all frequencies. And here it means that there is no delay at all. Uh, it, the output, uh, uh, the variation of output is the same as that of input. Now, in uh, second question, we have been given an idle OPM, the circuit like this. So what you have is this uh, uh, thermistor and 800 ohm is in series. It forms a voltage divider for this 4 volt. Similarly, we have got this resistor 1.8 kilo ohm and 1.2 kilo ohm form another voltage divider. So there are two voltage dividers operating out of the same input uh, input source. Now we have to find, determine the resistance RT of the thermistor of this thing. So let us say this is RT, at which the output potential difference V out is zero. So we have to make this V out zero. It means that if you want to have this thing is equal to zero, the potential here, let me say VA should be equal to VB. VA should be equal to VB. So let me write it here. VA is equal to VB. So it means that it means that this VA is equal to from the potential divider formula I will have V is equal to 800 by 800 plus RT RT into this 4 this main EMF is 4 equal to equal to this 1.2 K by uh, by, by, by 1.2 plus 1.8 k uh, into 4 so i can cancel uh, this thing i can cancel this thing so what i'll have is rt plus 800 by this 800 will be equal to uh, 1.2 plus 1.8 by 1.2 equal to 3.0 by 1.2 so this gives me rt plus 800 is equal to 3.0 by 1.2 into 800 and with mathematics I can say that this is equal to 2000 so then RT is equal to 2000 minus 800 and that's equal to 1200 ohm so the answer for this is 1200 1200 ohm now in the second question what you have is the second question is second question what I have is uh, the temperature the temperature of the uh, thermistor is gradually increased so that the resistance decreases from 1.5 RT to 0.5 RT so we have manipulated the temperature in such a way that the resistance decreases from this to this now we have to show uh, draw a line to show the variation of the output PD output PD uh, v out with the uh, thermistor resistance so we have to draw a graph for this v out now what happens here is let me do the uh, do the rough work here the rough work here so initially uh, when this rt was equal to 1200 1200 uh, these things were in total balance now if we have if we have this rt is less than 1200 if the rt is less than 1200 what happens is uh, less than 1200 this uh, voltage will increase than before if this decreases than 1200 this voltage will increase than before which means that VA will be larger than VB so VA larger than VB that means the output here will be negative negative 9 volt let me repeat that once again if this becomes less than 1200 this voltage will be dominant or increases this voltage decreases this increases and if so, we'll have VA more than VB. VB is stencil, so VA more than VB, so output will be minus 900. So it will be minus 900, 900, it goes like this, like, minus 9, sorry, like this, like this, like this, like, like, like this, till here. Now, when the, the resistance now increases more than that 1200, so at that time, uh, this voltage will be dominant, this will be less dominant, this will decrease, so if it decreases, this uh, uh, the voltage here, uh, if decreases, it will be less than this VB. So that means VB will be dominant and the output should be plus. So it will be plus 
the maximum is 9 volt so it goes to plus 9 volt like this so it goes like this like this like this and we have to go till go till go till they say 1.5 so you have to draw by pencil uh, properly I am not using all the techniques there so you'll be, you should be using pencil so this is the variation of the output voltage now we have to draw a symbol for a LED connected to the output circuit so that uh, it emits light when the resistance of the thermistor less than RT so we have to use an LED which gives output or which glows when this uh, RT is less so when this RT was less, RT was less, this was this voltage was high and it was giving negative output. So the LED should glow when this is negative. LED should glow when this is negative. So that means the end side of the LED should be in contact with this. Because in any LED, what we have is if I have LED like this, like this, the battery connection should be somewhat like this. So N side with a negative and P side with positive. So that's why. I must have inside with this thing so it should be like this like this like this this is the symbol this is the symbol and 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 uh, it is uh, a symbol so this is the inside and this is P side so this uh, uh, LED will work uh, will work or will glow when the resistance of the thermistor is less than RT or 1200 ohm